This program is proudly brought to you by friends and partners of Jesus Generation International Ministries and Prophet Ed Branson. This is, this is the hour of your salvation and the hour of your healing. I command that fiber. I command that cyst. I command that growth right now that is inside the group right now to come out. Praise God, everybody. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I pray I find you in good spirits. I pray I find you ready. I pray I find you anointed. I pray I, pray I find you blessed. The Bible tells us that rejoice in this day. Hmm? Rejoice in this day and be glad in it. It does not say rejoice in these days. It says rejoice in one particular day. Not many days. It says the one day that you have been given. Just the power of Having to have this day been given to you, you should rejoice in the fact that you have this day. To be grateful unto God and say, God, this is the day I'm just going to be, that I'm just going to rejoice and just be, and be glad. You have given me 365 years of my life, of, my, of, 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 a, of, a, of a year, and God is just saying, just for one day, can you just rejoice and be glad in it, for it is the day that I've made for you. You can never be too busy for God. You can never be too preoccupied for God. You can never find yourself too uh, caught up with the systems of the world that you cannot find one day or one time where you're saying, today is the day that I just want to be in the presence of God and just worship. You say, it's just one day. Rejoice in this day and be glad in this day. Not days, just one day. So today we are taking this day by fire, by force, and violently we are taking it and claiming it. Today is the day that the Lord has made for us, and I believe that me and you, we are going to be glad, and we're going to rejoice, and it is going to be a powerful day. It is going to be an amazing day. I thank the Lord for adding another year into my life, and yesterday, by God's grace, I, I celebrated, and we thank God for all the birthday wishes that came from all over the world. I want to do something different just to say thank you. I want to do something amazing for everybody that is tuned in online, whether you're watching us on YouTube, whether you're watching us on Facebook, Instagram, or you're watching us on JGTV, wherever you're going to be watching us from. I want to do something special for everybody that is live with us right now. My strength is in many areas of the spirit, but I'm particularly happy with the gifting of the Lord over my life concerning uh, the prophetic ministry that God has given me. So everybody who is live with us today, listen to me. It is prophecy time. I want to use my gift to bless you today. So everybody that is watching us, wherever you're watching us from, anywhere in the world, if you want to hear the mind of God, if you, you want to hear the mind of God, you, this is the perfect time. We're going to be doing this now live. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that exciting? Isn't that amazing? Isn't that powerful? So we'll call it the prophetic hour. Hallelujah. That's the beauty of today's service. No one is expecting to be live. We are just inviting anyone. If you're watching us on, on, online, just come through. Just, just co comment, and then if we see your comment, we, we bring you in. Praise the Lord. How are you doing? She's not saying anything, but she's just quiet. Yes, I'm talking to you. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm here in Poland. You, you're in Poland. How's Poland? Poland is hot. It's summertime. It's really hot. Wow. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Are you enjoying today's service? Ah, oh, my goodness. How can I not enjoy it? It's my day like this. I should, oh, my word. Papa, is that you for real? That is me for real. And, and we and we. Amen. Now when you pop from home, you realize how much you needed to serve God. <laughs> but don't worry. The anointing will continue to speak for you there in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, Amen, Papa. I'm, I'm going to ask you a question, and I want you to answer me. Can I, can I prophesy a little bit? Can I prophesy a little bit? Look, there is, I'm standing, I'm, right now I'm in, I am I'm in Poland. I'm standing in a street, and the street is written 
what serve? What serve? And I said, the angel of the Lord, Lord, why am I standing on this road? Eh? Why am I standing on this road? And the angel of the Lord says, because you want to talk to this girl. And I said, why? And he says, because there is an issue. I don't know where I am. I don't know where I am, but I'm seeing this street. And it's something like WhatsApp or WhatsApp or something like that. WhatsApp, Aska, Saka. What is that? Uh, it's the name of the area where I am right now. It's Saska, Kepa. That is where you are right now. Yes. And the angel of the Lord began to minister to me and he says, I want you to go. And I was taken into like an apartment building. And as I was taken up into like an apartment building, the angel of the Lord says, leave the first one which means leave the first floor, but go to the second one. When I went to the second one, the angel of the Lord then said, open this door, and I opened the door, and the angel of the Lord says, leave the main, leave the main, what you call it, leave the main house, the main, in the main corridor, and then go to the lounge. When you go to the lounge, right next to the sofa, right next to the chair, there is a paper, there's a white paper from a brown envelope with a white top, and then when you open it, there is a doctor's report, a medical report, that was given, that was given by somebody called P. P. Stephen, who was like a doctor you went to see. And they were talking about a growth that is inside of your stomach. And this growth is big. You have got a growth that is big and it's growing like 0 0.89 centimeters right now. And they say that it has to be operated. Uh, if not, if it's not operated, it will cause you problems. And now you are scared. You don't know what to do. Am I prophesying? Prophesying. Am I prophesying? Yes, I've got a cyst on my liver. You've got a cyst on your liver? Yes. Did I just come to your house right now? Yes, actually, it's the second house where I am. Right now, I, I change places because of some of the brown chairs you're talking about. It's in another place where I left the report. Where you even left the report? Yes. Can you see that? We went, the Holy Spirit went where the report is. You left the report where? You left the report where? Uh, it's another place, another town in Lublin. Right now I'm in Warsaw, the capital. And where is the report? Where, where exactly is, is it in the house? Brown, uh, brown cupboard, like you say. <laughs> Did you tell me this? And brown Sorry? Did you tell me this? No, from where? I never talked to you ever since I came. I've been wishing and praying. I've I given up. I was just saying, maybe, maybe it will happen, maybe it will not happen, but the anointing will just wait for me whether I talk to him or not. Amen. You, now, you see how God works. He located where you are, but then he went to locate where you left your medical report and mentioned the exact house and everything else and where it is hidden in the house and what is contained, the names of the doctors, even the size of the thing growing. And the thing is not, it's not growing. You mentioned also the size, there is a fibroid, that's the size you mentioned, it's also 0.9, that's what is on the report, it's not just the cyst, it's the fibroids as well. The accuracy is amazing. That, that's the only way you see that God is involved when accuracy is like this. Jill, I want to pray for you. Do you believe that God can do a miracle for you right there, right now? I believe that. I do believe. If God can locate all of these things right now, do you believe that God can do a miracle for you now exactly? Yes, I believe. Stand yes. up. Stand up. Yes. Yes. Stand up. Stand up. I want, something is about to happen to you right now. Stand up. Put your right hand on your stomach right now in the name of Jesus. Right now. Right now. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Something is about to come out. Something is about to come out. She's going to pass out that, those, those seeds right now. She's going to pass out those fibroids and those growth. They are going to come out today. Distance is not a barrier to the move of the Holy Spirit right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, out in the name of Jesus Christ, out, come 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 out, 
in the name of Jesus Christ, come out. I command every infirmity, whatsoever is not of Jesus Christ right now, I command it to disappear now, to come out. Come out, be flushed out. I command everything to disappear and for you to be restored right now in the name of Jesus. Now, my dear, I want you to go to the bathroom. There is something that must come out. Go to the bathroom. There is something that you must pass out immediately. Go to the bathroom. There is something that you must pass out. And when, when you have finished and you have your testimony, communicate with our team here again and then let us know what happened, okay? Yes, Papa. We are waiting. We are waiting. God bless you. Okay, I'm coming back. Thank you. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, right now I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus Christ. If there is a fibroid that is tormenting you, if you have a situation of cysts and growth in your stomach right now, my sister, you listen, I, I, I believe I'm talking to some women right now. Any condition that has put fibroids in your stomach, this is the voice of God speaking to you right now. You have been waiting for God to come through to heal you. You have been waiting for a miracle to happen. That pain that has been giving you sleepless nights and excruciating pain. Right now in the name of Jesus, this is the hour of your salvation and the hour of your healing. I command that fibroid. I command that cyst. I command that growth right now that is inside of your womb right now to come out. I command it to come out in the name of Jesus Christ right now. I command you to come out. 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 You fibroid, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke you now. I command you to come out and never to return. I command you to leave and never to return. You fibroid, in the name of Jesus, I command you to go. Every growth that is on your body, every growth, every lump that is on your body, whether it is or whether it is hidden or whether it is seen or whether it is unseen, in the name of Jesus, I command it to disappear right now. All lumps in your body, all growths in your body, I command them to disappear immediately by the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, thank Lord, it is done. This program is proudly brought to you by friends and partners of Jesus Generation International Ministries and Prophet Ed Branson. There is something that I'm seeing in the realms of the Spirit. And this is an amazing thing that God is about to do. Because as I'm speaking to you, the angel of the Lord said, count seven days, uh, seven days behind. And I counted seven days behind. And I saw exactly seven days ago, which was on a Sunday, but it was basically, it was basically in the evening after we did a Sunday service. Elizabeth, there was some sort of planning you were doing about a wedding. There was a, a, a planning about a marriage, about a wedding that was being done. It happened on Sunday and it happened in the evening and you were planning it. And as you were planning this thing, this is a wedding that I'm not seeing. It's not a, a wedding that is a local wedding. It's not a wedding, but I'm seeing borders being opened and I'm seeing someone coming from outside of the country and this person is coming to put a ring on a hand. And the angel of the Lord then said, I want you to speak into the life of this person because something big is about to happen. I want to tell you right now, as you are hearing me, that there is a, there is a door that has already been opened. And I'm not counting more than six months from now. I'm not counting if it's four or five months. I'm seeing you being called somebody's wife. But this is going to be cross-border. This is something that is going to be cross-border. Hallelujah. I do not know. I'm looking as, as also at the both of you guys there. The, look at you. I'm looking at you. There are black women that are there. But I'm seeing, I'm seeing something like the guy looks white. doesn't look black. I'm seeing a white, you know, like, like white skin. Is it like white skin? Yeah, yeah. Not, not black. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what? Papa, you are too much. What? Please. My goodness, this is too deep. This is deep. This is deeper than deep. What do you mean is deeper than deep? <laughs> no, because what you're saying is the truth. Please go deeper. Please go deeper. Please go deeper. Yay. Oh, what do you mean is, is, is the truth? You 
Yes. Jesus, Lord. Papa, go, go in. Go in. Mm. Is there white men? What's going on? Who's, who's that? Hey, the both of us. The both of you. Yes. <laughs> the both of you, all right. What? The other, no. okay, the other one, the other one, this other one, I'm seeing something again, but this is, you know, uh, all blacks. You know, it's like someone who used to play rugby, and he was almost drafted. He was almost drafted to pray to pray for the All Blacks. What what All Blacks is that? All Blacks is what country? All Blacks is New Zealand. Exactly. It's like he was almost drafted at, at a certain point. He used to play sport, but then this thing is like that was he was fought. That's one of your husbands over there. So, hey. so you guys, you you are there. You are, you both are dating two white guys. Yes. <laughs> wow. So wh where are they? My one is coming. My one is coming. My one is in New Zealand. My goodness, that's New Zealand. Yes. Hmm. Ay ay ay. So. Before six months come to an end, the both of you, you'll be celebrating twin weddings. Did you hear what I said? Oh, my gosh! You'll be celebrating twin weddings. This is the man of God. Before, before six months come to an end, the year comes to an end. This is the man of God. Before the year comes to an end. Yes? We always watch this movie, right? For the Pride and Prejudice. Yeah, the Pride and Pride and Prejudice. And the two sisters of Pride and Prejudice celebrating twin weddings. Oh my gosh. So oh since, gosh. since you were young, you were planning to have twin weddings together. We are having like Elizabeth and Jane. Jane from Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh my gosh. It is yours in the name of Jesus. It is yours in the name of Jesus. Amen. No man, no power can, can be able to fight this. Your Lord. destinies have been released. Congratulations. God bless you in Jesus' name. It is done. Amen. <laughs> and I'm releasing the grace for everybody that is watching us all over the world. No more delay over your marriage in the name of Jesus. Where whatever spirit that has been putting delay over your marriage in Jesus' name, this year will not finish before that ring is on your hand in Jesus' name. Amen. I say this year will refuse to finish before that ring is on your hand in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm standing here as a prophet of God to say congratulations. It is already done in the name of Jesus. Congratulations over your marriage, over your home, over your children. Congratulations in Jesus' name. It is done. This is the hour of your salvation and the hour of your healing. I command that fight I command that cease. I command that growth right now that is inside of your womb right now to come out. Thank sir, you. how are you doing? Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm fine, sir. I'm fine. I'm fine, prophet. I'm fine, prophet. This is my day. This where, is where, my day. Where, this is my day. Oh, where are you joining God. us from? This is my day. Where are you joining us from? This is my day. I'm calling from London, England. How's London, England? Great, it's great, prophet. It's it is great. great. We're, we're expecting you. We need your grace here. We're <laughs> expecting you here. We're yearning for you. You are going to. Since I started following you, my life has not been the same. The coronavirus came in April, nearly, nearly took my life, but the grace of God sustained me and sustained me. Amen. I, I, okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bless you today. I'm going to definitely bless you today. I'm going to write some things down. 
and I need you to just give me one minute. Right. All right. So, so beautiful, beautiful. So, uh, my goodness. Oh, okay, can somebody put this on the camera and where you can read this? Medical Society said you had coronavirus, COVID-19. Yes. Did you read that? Yes. Does it make yes. does it make sense to you? Yes, makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Can you read Can you read it one more time? A doctor from London, medical society said you had corona, uh, COVID-19. His name was Pike. So what, yes. how does it make sense to you? It makes sense to me because um, on the 2nd of um, April, I felt seriously ill at work because I work in a hospital. I work mm -hmm. in a children's hospital. Mm -hmm. I was seriously ill uh, and, uh, and I was sent home. I was yeah. sus suspected of uh, coronavirus. Mm -hmm. And um, that was where the whole nightmare, the whole of um, April into early May, I was seriously ill. For about 20 days, I couldn't eat anything, and there was no treatment, obviously, and I was just at home. At some point, even my landlord wanted to throw me out uh, when I was even seriously ill. I, but it's like the Spirit of God told me, don't go to the hospital. But at the time, um, the percentage of people that went to the hospital uh, that died, because two other of my colleagues in the same hospital died, they never, they never came back, I went to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And it was just, we just saved my life. And um, all I was just having was just Ribena and water. I uh, was taken as like, a like Holy Communion, and I recovered. So I'm still here, and uh, standing fully. Um, um, I think I'm well. So what I'm, a part of, apart from other things I'm really yearning for God to do for me, is uh, to clear whatever traces of coronavirus that is still um, existed in me. Or oh, if, if there's been any damage in me, obviously that God should have told me because he's my, he's my maker and my healer. Amen. Now, the amazing part about this, this is you just calling now. I don't know you. You did not call me. You didn't tell me this thing. No. But God, God is just ministering that, you know, Dr. Pike from the London Medical Society say that you have got COVID-19. And right now, you are still even recovering because... The, 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 the disease is still inside of you. It is, it is not yet let go. It is still there. And you are afraid because you, 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 you don't want it to cause any more damage or to do any more harm to you. Because in that, in that season that you were in, it was a nightmare for you. Yes. It was a nightmare. Now, yes. now watch this. Did you tell me this? No, I didn't. I didn't. We've never spoken before. In fact, I wanted to uh, register for a um, uh, um, letter from um, uh, from heaven or even one to one. I I don't have money because I've not I've not earned any money from the second ju uh, of June of um, uh, second of April. Even as it stands, I'm so I mean I'm deep in debt. Mm -hmm. I, I I haven't paid even my uh, rent and, and all that. So it's just. It, it really wanted to bring me down, to devastate me totally. Exactly. So I'm getting stronger by the day. So, this is the word from your Father in heaven, the God who is God over all. I like to call him Jehovah Elroy, the God who sees that you are suffering oh from my Corona. God. Prophet, Prophet, hold it, hold it. This yes. is what I was crying before I came up. I said, God, the God that sees all things, Jehovah El Roy. That... <laughs> <laughs> eh? Who oh, said Jehovah El Roy? Hear me. Bring me up, speak into every situation. This is what you are, this is what, this, this was what, how you were praying. Yes, yes. And, yes. the, and the word is coming exactly as you were praying, word for word. I'm here to declare and to decree, to decree over your life yes. that that coronavirus that is now left on the right side of your chests, 
that coronavirus that is now remaining on the right side of your chest right now, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ, depart. Amen. Amen. Depart. Amen. Depart in the name of Jesus. Amen. Depart in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. right now. I command Amen. you to depart. I command you to go in the name of Jesus. Amen. And everything Amen. that has been damaged and everything that has been destroyed, I command right now healing and restoration in your body right now. Healing and restoration, Amen. my God. Healing and restoration Amen. right now. Receive it, my God. Healing Amen. and restoration Amen. over you in the name of Amen. Jesus. I command that Amen. corona to leave you in the name of Jesus. Leave your Amen. system and leave your flesh Amen. and be restored Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. This, is, this is the hour of your salvation and the hour of your healing. I command that fiber. I command that cyst. I command that growth right now that is inside of your womb right now to come out. Can I prophesy to you? Can I prophesy a little bit? Just small, small? Yes, sir. Can I prophesy? Yes, prophet. I need... Uh, I need two things from you, quickly. I need two things from you. The first thing that I need from you is a toy. I need you to hold me a toy. I need you to find a toy. Because the toy is significant to a, a business that God wants to give you. I'm seeing a toy. A toy. There is a business... There is a business that God wants to give you, and this business involves toys or kids' stuff or children's stuff. Okay. So yeah. find me any toy in the house. Whose toy is that? My son, David the third. Oh, that's David. You know, the moment you mentioned David, Yuri or the angel of the Lord whispered to me. You said your son David. The moment you said David, Yuri then whispered in my ear and he says, there is a competition that David must enter or must go very soon. God wants to use this like a competition or a, I don't know what it is, but there are a lot of children there and the boy has to travel there. And there are people that are going to see this boy. And when they see this boy, this boy is going to start his destiny at a very young age, where he's going to be known from a young age as a child. Where he's going to be like, what do, you, what do I mean? A, a personality or a TV personality or something like that. Because after, after he gets into that competition, he's going to be representing a certain brand of that competition. Um, people always tell me that I should submit him to like, Okay, so you should do that because God wants to do wants to wants to bring a favor in this boy's life, and then also there is this business that God wants to give you, and it's a business that will grow exp exponentially, and it involves you dealing with children stuff, children's toys, books, whatsoever, anything to do with children. God wants to give you a miracle in there that you will be a big brand, a big business, and God will use it to sustain where God wants to take you. Number three, as I'm talking to you right now, the angel of the Lord whispered to me that I must prophesy. Do you know anyone in a, in a place they call Houston? Yes, that's my maiden name, and I live in Houston, Texas. You live in Houston? Oh, you, oh, you live in Houston, Texas. Uh, and that's your middle name. name. All right. I want you to do something for me. Today is Sunday. I want you to, I want you to do something. I know you, will, you will respect prophetic instruction, but I want you to do something on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I want you to fast Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Because on Wednesday, there is an encounter of, that God wants you to have. And I asked in the realm of the Spirit, why do you want this girl to have this encounter? And the angel of the Lord says, because of the prophetic mantle, there is a gift that God has put over your life as a woman of God. But the problem is this, you have not been walking fully in the fullness of God's grace over your life. 
you are a woman of God, and God has put his calling over your life. Matter of fact, as I'm talking to you, I'm hearing the name like harvest, harvest, harvest. Harvest is hearing in my is 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 ringing in my ear, and the angel of the Lord began to min that's the name of your church. And the angel of the Lord began to minister to me, and he says, "Tell it to fast on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, because on Wednesday evening at exactly two fourteen a.m. there is a spiritual encounter. There is an out of body experience. There is an angelic encounter that must happen to you, because you are a woman of God." But the devil has been trying to fight you back so that you do not walk in the fullness of the grace that God has placed over your life. You are a woman of God. You are a woman of faith. You are a woman of grace. And there is a strong prophetic unction that God has placed over your life. And God says it is your season to start walking into that dimension. It is your time to start moving into that dimension. It is your time to start to start doing it in that dimension matter of fact is i'm my libro decision kadele mandele for hasa kabolo bra decision i want you to do this because god is about to do an amazing thing you are a woman of god and it's like a season of so many breakthroughs that are happening that God is going to bring over your life. Even skincare. You know, like I'm seeing you're, you're going to do business of, of these toys, but then there's another business of skincare. I'm see, you know, like what do you call Anything to do with skin. It's your season, but you need to get into these three days of prayer and fasting because this is what to boot the salvation, I mean the foundation of what God wants to do. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Prophet. Hallelujah. Do you receive this word? I do, absolutely. Hallelujah. So you're starting oh, to... I'm you shaking. I, I know you can't see it, but I'm literally shaking. <laughs> Why are you shaking, ma'am? I just feel this, this, this fire in my body, like something has been activated um, um, in, in my body. Amen. So start tomorrow and on Wednesday at exactly that time, you will see what will happen in your own house, in your own bedroom, in Jesus' name. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you. Praise God. Jesus Generation International Ministries. Reach a city, change a nation, touch the world.